Hello and welcome. <clears throat> Getting ready to do a general reading for everybody. I am clustering all of the single signs together in your or in your grouping. Uh, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Uh, fire signs are going to be <clears throat> Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. And of course, the air signs are Gemini, <clears throat> Libra, and Aquarius. <clears throat> I've got some sage going in the breakfast area here, my little breakfast nook. Turning the paranormal flashlight on, see if I can get spirit to um, take control of that light and work with me a little bit. Okay, spirit, can you take control of that light and let me know if I have it adjusted correctly for you? Can I get a wink, a blink, or a nod? <clears throat> the bell is welcoming in only spirits of the light. Only archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, ancestors, and spirit guides are allowed in while I am doing a reading. <clears throat> All right. Here we have it. The, the light is working. It may come on or off, and it may not res or may not um, respond at all. So, you know, we just got to kind of go with the flow. Spirit is as spirit does in their own time and in their own way. All right, we're going to start with the water signs. I'm only a minute and a half into the video. I kind of like to cut those intros short. I personally don't like watching a video that they do a 20 minute intro. So, with that being said, <clears throat> this is for water signs. Can I get some more jumpers for the water signs, please? Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Getting that energy in the cards as I speak. Can I get a couple more, please? I love it when they jump out. <clears throat> the jumpers, we call them jumpers, um, whether they flip, flap, fall, fly, float. Um, somehow they want out of the deck. And they want to be read. Um, this is a general reading for the water signs. If it resonates with you, drop down and hit that like, subscribe, and share buttons, would you please? Um, if it does not resonate, do not try to make it fit. Stop back. I update frequently. <clears throat> All right, water signs. Let's see what's happening for you guys. <clears throat> All right, water signs. You may have been dealing with a Capricorn which is an earth sign um, because we have the devil card that comes up now whether it is a capricorn or not don't get hung up on that it is the devil and that does indicate that you had been dealing with some toxic energy with somebody <clears throat> absolutely putting up with just some kind of toxic connection that somebody had uh, they were always bringing that negative energy uh, to you and to the table, so to speak. But we have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> you know what? You were done, um, done dealing with it. Absolutely done. <clears throat> decided to take your. Um, decided to take what you could salvage and go. You headed out with a new perspective. You know what, this may be indicating, you know, I said you taking what you could salvage and go, referring to some uh, material things, but you are also taking on a new perspective. Um, you have a renewed way of looking at things. Uh, that was the Seven of Swords and we go right into the Eight of Cups again. You know, you turning here, we are turning your back on that uh, behavior that was so toxic that you just felt like you just, you know, you couldn't be around it. You didn't want to deal with it. Um, the Eight of Cups is always about <clears throat> leaving a, something behind, a little bit of something behind. 
in order to be free. L literally not dragging all that old stuff with you. Leave it there. You've already separated yourself from it. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. You've already separated yourself from it. Don't drag it with you. Let it go. Now we have the Ace of Swords that comes up. The Ace of Swords is talking to me about um, something that is getting ready to come about in divine timing. Now, water signs, you may have been up in your head a little too much. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, mm. You may have been up in your head a little too much because the sword is an air sign. Air is kind of like up here between your ears. I think you were really, really spending a lot of mind time on this, and it wasn't wasn't getting you anywhere. So that's when you decided to, to hey, you know, it's toxic. I'm, I'm out of here. <clears throat> you knew that. You, you made that choice. We have the Page of Pentacles that comes up. Uh, Page is there. He's letting us know that there is change going to come about. Um, this may be a little bit of an increase for you financially. Um, oftentimes that page is just bringing about something that's tangible, um, a change that's coming along, something you can touch and see and hear and feel. Um, <clears throat> but that change is coming around. All right, water sign. You got the justice card. You know, that's the scales of justice are going to come back your way a, a little bit. It's going to level out. You know, it wasn't fair. Um, this person, the other person that you were dealing with threw a lot of a lot of blame on you. They, they threw a lot of crap on you that wasn't yours to take. However, you tried to make nice. You tried to make nice. And all it did is it got you the four of swords. That feeling that you were being <clears throat> stabbed in the back, kind of. A lot of uh, anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. You just didn't, weren't feeling it after a while. Once you had that feeling that it wasn't going to happen, that there was more drama there. And again, this that card has been all about up in your head a little too much. Too much mind time. However, I see the energy clearing. I see things changing. I see it happening um, real soon, too. The sun card comes up for you. Now, the sun card is all about healing and growth. It's about expansion. It's about um, stepping into the light. It's about letting that toxicity go. It's about learning that, you know what, I don't need that person in my life to bring that to me. Now, I would love to have that person in my life if they weren't so negative. So if it's a family member, just limit your time with them. You don't have to completely disconnect. But if it is a love interest, something better coming. Something better coming. All right. We also now have the Wheel of Fortune that comes up for you, Water Signs. And that is all about, you know, the wheel doesn't roll in unless a cycle is closing out. Um, and that wheel is going to bring about new opportunity. It's going to bring about more growth, more expansion. You might even be thinking about some continuing education, doing something to expand yourself. All right. Can I get a couple clarifiers for the water signs, please? Switching decks. Bam, bam. I love it when the cards and energies repeat themselves. The Eight of Cups. You're willing to walk away and leave this behind because it did not serve you. It was toxic and it was not getting gaining you anything but frustration. <clears throat> there are going to be choices coming along for you. We also have the Four of Cups. Uh, that Four of Cups is... Uh, you notice that one little cup's coming out of that cloud something that's going to come out in, in divine timing. There are, is going to be an opportunity for you to make a decision and for you to make a choice. Um, you're going to be able to pick and choose, look at what you, which ones you want. Water sign. You are headed in the right direction. Growth, expansion, uh, healing. You've got it. All right. That was the general read for the water signs.
If you like that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, would you please? I'm going to go ahead and timestamp these, so I will see you in uh, next in the Earth signs. All right, Earth signs, you guys are next. Got the paranormal flashlight already set up back there. It is responding a little bit today, and we are going to go move forward here with the Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Spirit, can I get some jumpers, please, for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? <clears throat> Whether you are an Earth sign in your sun, your moon, or your rising sign, um, take that information if it resonates, and if it doesn't, let it go. Stop back. I update frequently. There we go, finally. Sometimes I just have to have them in the right place at the right time in order for them to decide to come out. All right, I can deal the rest. And we'll take two off the bottom of the deck. All right, Earth signs, it looks like you have something coming too. Um, it looks like you have already gone through that tower moment. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, that tower moment, that was that pivotal moment when uh, the walls came tumbling down. Um, something happened and it blew the roof off of what you thought was normal. Okay, Earth sign, a lot of us went through it, myself included. But I love that tower because that it means that something is over. Okay, moving forward with something brand new and fresh. We also have the five of wands that comes up. You know, the five is all about change. It actually came up in the inverted position. So that's telling me that the chaos, the commotion, and the negativity that you were dealing with, Earth sign, is in the past. That's no longer your lifestyle. You stepped away from it. You're separating yourself from it and kind of coming out away from that heavy energy. We have the Knight of Wands. It may be a fire sign that you were dealing with, um, Earth sign. But uh, nonetheless, the Knight is all about, this could be somebody that's kind of peeking in on you, keeping an eye on you, keeping a watch from a distance. Um, not necessarily stalking, but, you know, still interested in you, wanting to know what you're doing, how life is for you. You know, somebody's just there keeping an eye on things. Thank you, Spirit with the Light. Um, we have the High Priestess card, and it came up right straight up and down. And this is all about using your intuition and your gut um, instincts letting them work for you, using them. They are all given to us by the divine. We all get those uh, feelings. Follow yours. You are just not quite ready, but you had that tower moment or sign, and you have not yet put down the burden. You've been carrying... Um, Perhaps a broken heart. We're going to clarify that here in a little, little more. But um, again, this could be a fire sign that you were dealing with. But you're real close to it now. You're ready to step away from it completely. Ready to let it go. That tower was there to tell us that you completed that cycle. That 10 is absolutely the completion of that cycle. And it goes right back around to the number one card again. And we also have the... Four of Swords that came up in the inverted position. Um, this has brought you some anxiety. A little bit of depression. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, Spirit's also telling me that this is no longer the issue now. You have healed. You are growing. Um you are separating yourself from any of that negative energy. That's what the sword's all about, cutting that tie um, with that 
toxic energy of the person that you had been dealing with. <clears throat> the Empress comes up and she's up in reverse. Um, you know, she's actually more powerful than a queen. But she can be a little bit a little bit bitchy, a little bit nasty, a little bit mean. Um, <clears throat> she can be a little bit of a tough cookie to have to deal with, especially in the inverted position. She's not not going to contain herself quite as much. Um, that might be somebody that you have dealt with. It's almost as though that that was a third party in, in some particular situation for you earth signs uh and that is what the the queen was all or excuse me the empress was all about kind of made you feel like um you didn't quite have your own power but <clears throat> we've got the moon card that comes up and we have a a full moon coming up on the 27th of february that is going to be a powerful moon and it's going to be in the sign of, let me think, I think it's Leo coming up. I believe I'll have to check that and make certain. I, I, I'll let you know. Um, but this moon is going to really bring a lot of things to light for a lot of people. You're going to see some things with some clarity that you hadn't seen before. Um, you're going to go, oh, that's what that meant. It's really going to ring a bell for you. All right, let me get a couple clarifiers for the earth signs, please. Thank you, Spirit on that light. I always thank them. <clears throat> Again, the high priestess comes up. Bam. Um, I am totally amazed when two different decks repeat the same energies. Um, use your intuition. Use your gut feeling. Um, everybody has it. All mothers have it. All fathers have it. Um, it is something, the intuition is something that's given to us at birth. It's kind of like um, the ability to, for music. Everybody gets a little bit of it at birth. You're, you're able to do it. Not everybody can play Chopin. Not everybody can play, play uh, Rachmaninoff. Um, but some people um, may only be stuck playing chopsticks, and that would be where I'm at. So you do have intuition. Allow it to talk to you. Allow it to guide you. And we have the Nine of Swords. Uh, the Nine of Swords was all about the sleepless nights and the anxiety that you did have, the worry, the fear, but it came up in the inverted position there, Earth sign. It's in the past. It's no longer going to be there to bug you. It's done. You're ready to step away. All right, there you go, Earth signs. If that resonated, hit that like and subscribe button. Go moving on to the fire signs. See you in a moment here. All right, my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's see what is happening for you guys. Again, I still have the uh, paranormal flashlight set up. It has been, you know, it's been um, working a little bit today. Not real hard, not real fast, but it is letting me know that spirit is in the room. What have I got here? I think I have enough. All right. <clears throat> All right, we are going to start out. <clears throat> with the queen of cups the queen of cups came up in the reverse you know the queen is usually pretty confident um she knows who she is and what she wants doesn't have to throw hissy fits but she came up in the reverse and you know the handles on that let me turn this around one more time notice the handles on that cup they kind of look like a claw 
you know there, there can be that side to her <clears throat> it came up in reverse so I'm feeling like this is somebody that you have kind of separated yourself from fire sign this person did not um, it was somebody that you thought was bringing a loving cup to you somebody that had an open heart um, it did not happen that way <clears throat> that person was closed off that person was closed the hell off <laughs> um, we got the three of cups that comes up too and in reverse um, normally this cup indicates somebody celebrating and coming together but in the reverse it is just absolutely making me feel like you may feel like you're losing the love of your life um, somebody has not wanted the same things that you wanted they're not willing to celebrate the same things that you do this person has been dragging you down in a lot of ways <clears throat> we have the nine of swords whoops and that was and it did not come up inverted it came up and right right straight up and down um the nine of swords is all about again that anxiety that worry those sleepless nights that you had um not knowing if you made the right decision you may have gone to somebody else and that did not work out like what am I going to do I, I I really left a good thing behind um and the new thing isn't working out what do I do what do I do well here's what you do you just hang on to your strength fire sign uh could be a Lee you could be a Leo yourself that's what this card indicates so you need to get that strength brought out pull up your the strength that you have pull it together um hang on for just a minute because things are going to change for you fire sign we have the two of pinnacles that come up you know financially you have been pretty hard pressed things have not been going your way you've been trying to juggle more than more than one thing you've been trying to juggle your finances you've been trying to juggle your uh, personal connections with other people but that's okay we have the uh, queen of wands that comes up <clears throat> another fire sign uh the queen of wands is she came up and you know the queen of cups came up inverted but the queen of wands comes up in the upright position <clears throat> you know this is you coming back into who you are you know with with that strength card there fire sign um and the queen of wands you know that's all about you coming back and kind of getting things all collected and put back together so you're pulling your shit back together this was pretty traumatizing for you it, it was not an easy thing and an easy choice to make it fell through you weren't sure how you were going to change it how you were going to bring it back about <clears throat> but we have the ace of wands coming up for you fire sign look at that again another fire sign in your own reading um this is a change that has been coming about in divine timing you know sometimes the wand and this one really looks it's thick and it's heavy and it looks like a billy club um sometimes we need clobbered over the head with a good club in order for us to see that we made a wrong choice it's okay to back up it's okay to change it's okay to let that stuff go um here we have the hierophant this could possibly be a Taurus that you're dealing with uh also here fire sign but you know nonetheless the hierophant is all about somebody that you have been trying to talk to for guidance a lot of uh decks this uh the hierophant is depicted more looking like a pope but it is somebody that officiates it is somebody that helps make decisions somebody for you to um talk to this could be a counselor or somebody that you've been working with trying to get past some of this heartache and it's all headed the right direction you have the world card um new new beginnings new opportunities coming forward <clears throat> brand new brand new hang on brand new life 
brand new life all right can i get some clarifiers for the fire signs please Here we have the star card uh the star is all about healing um and that's where you are fire sign you are now starting in that healing phase of where you're at you realize that something wasn't going to work you felt like it was a defeat you felt like um you struck out <clears throat> um no no, you're healing. You're moving forward. We've got that world card. It's going to get you going to get you to hell out of dodge. We also have the page of cups. And the page of cups is telling me that there is a new opportunity that is going to present itself. Um and this could be another person coming forward trying to bring you some happiness into your life. Cups can indicate a connection of the heart. There you have it, fire sign. Drop down, hit that like, subscribe, and please share this video if you would. Moving on to air signs. See you over there in the air signs in just a second. Okay, my air signs. How are you guys? You've been patiently waiting. Um, you guys usually get to go first. Um, today you hung out there and choose to go last. There are timestamps. Um, I will put those down in the comment section for you guys so you can jump right into your reading and not have to endure the rest of the reading. But thank you if you do. Um, I am humbled by you guys when you follow me, you comment, and let me know your thoughts. All right, air signs, here we go. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what's happening in your world? Air signs, they really want out for you. They are flipping and flying. I love to see that kind of energy. Look at that. Um, you know what? Let me adjust this. Camera needs to be a little bit. There we go. And I will get my bag of sage. Got some fresh sage. A huge wand of it today. Mm. All right. I actually think I have enough here. Let's, let's not go too far, Tina. All right, air signs, what's happening for you guys? <clears throat> All right, air, 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 let's see what's going on for you. <clears throat> we have the high priestess in reverse. Um, this is somebody that is coming into somebody new that's coming into the scene this is somebody that is um ha may have a very strong intuition now it came up in reverse so they're they're kind of sneaking in in a slow fashion now this could be a new love interest this is somebody that's very intuitive only they're not using their intuition it is also Somebody that understands the, the, that there are a whole lot more, that there, everything isn't just black and white. There are a lot of shades of gray on a lot of things. And this is a new person that's getting ready to come into your life, air sign. <clears throat> we have, let's see, let's see. We have the page of Pentacles that comes up also. And the page is upside down, but he's trying to let me know that, you know, he's bringing about word of this change. He is also making me feel that, you know, <clears throat> air sign, you can, you have a tendency to be over, overly generous. Um, so you may have a little, a little opportunity to regroup and financially come back into standing a little more solid. We have the six of wands and that's a little bit of a victory it's about like a midpoint victory i like to 
kind of refer to it as a seven inning stretch you know when you're at a baseball game but um this six of wands is you know a little bit of a happily ever after kind of coming around for you air sign we also have the lover's card that comes up now it did come up in the reverse so i'm feeling like this opportunity or this connection that i mentioned earlier is coming about slowly very slowly um air sign you're the one that's kind of making everything happen so slow you went into this change in your perspective thinking that if you manifested some new things and happier things that you know they were going to start coming around real fast you'll be able to um, be happy real quick but it's not going to happen that way it's going to take a little bit of more a little more work you're going to have a decision you need to make we've got the two of wands you're looking around though you're going which way do i want to go you've got the whole world in your hand opportunities are abounding out there for you know things that you would like to do but you're going to need to make that choice you have been stuck in the hermit mode actually you were kind of afraid you were going to be stuck by yourself air sign you have a difficult time being alone you didn't want to be but you found some enlightenment that's what that lantern is all about that the, the hermit carries it's about seeing things in ourselves it is about just seeing what we need to do to improve ourselves and make ourselves better we have the justice card that comes up and that justice card is letting me know that things are coming back your way you are waiting for this change in your life and the change in momentum and as scales are going to balance out and things are going to happen in a good way we have the fool card uh you know you've got to be willing to take that leap of faith there he is standing on the edge of that cliff you know not a care in the damn world look at him just all willy-nilly ready to just you know take a leap of faith and let me tell you there's a lot of beginner's luck that happens with this card um the fool doesn't have his mind isn't cluttered with a lot of detail he only takes what he sees in the biggest picture he doesn't break it down into the tiny little details but he sees a lot of luck in the beginning because he doesn't know what the pitfalls are have you ever been taught a brand new game a new card game new board game and you you, you win you know how it, beginner's luck it just kind of rolls that way <clears throat> all right let's get a couple more clarifiers here for the air signs those fell out and I was not ready for them all right all right again repeating energy I love it when two different decks hit the same energy two of wands that is the decision that you have to make it's the opportunity to make it sometimes you don't even get to make a decision air sign things happen to you um, and then it's a response and anytime we respond to something it's not quite the same as if we have the opportunity to think it out decide what we want to do and manifest that new beginning um we have that tower moment coming up for you air sign bam it's going to bring about that change that you need it's going to bring about that that fresh breath the breath of fresh air that comes with um blowing the roof off the place okay uh notice the lightning bolt hit striking that blowing the roof right off of it but that's okay because that's where that fresh air is going to come in that's where this new connection is going to come in and whoops we have the three of cups <clears throat> that's a celebration card you know it, it, it's a good it's a happy-go-lucky kind of card it's coming back together it's a reunion um it is all about making a perhaps a new connection with somebody as an affair of the heart all right there you have it air sign 
Um, we did air, fire, earth, and water. Um, if that resonated with you, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button. And as always, I never leave you guys that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.